Oh, check this out, guys. Look down there at this one. You know what I think we have in here? I think that may have been... Hey, guys. Healthy Family Variety Channel here. Today we're going to bust into a couple more of the geodes that we have. Check and see if there's any treasures lurking inside that we didn't know were there. Join us. Let's see what we find. Boy, this one's hard. Check that out. There's little pyrite crystals inside of there. All those little glitters are pyrite crystals. That's cool. All right, let's keep on cracking. It's neat. Check that out again. I mean, there's kind of almost a pattern of pyrite crystals right there. Let me see if I can hit it from a little bit different angle. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa. It's sparking. Somewhere I'm hitting straight metal. I don't know if it's just the pyrite that I'm hitting or what, but it was sparking. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Which one? Well, it's really neat that it has the pyrite in there, but I wonder what, I wonder if there was a, a fossil animal or something, plant or animal, that was inside there that caused this concretion to form when the water and, and everything settled down. Well, that is sharp right there. It's kind of hard, and it's, it's almost pretty sharp. All right, let's keep cracking. That is cool. I think there's is that is that showing up on the video? Flint. I don't know. I think it's flint in there. We'll just keep on hammering and I'll see. Yeah? Well, I don't think we're going to find any fossils inside. I've heard that in concretions and fossils, whenever there's pyrite, that's normally because of blood that was left behind whenever the creature was fossilized. Alright, so this one is starting. I, I'm tired of busting on it. I just want to look at what's inside. Wow, check that out. So, you can see the layers a little bit. It's got the, the pyrite throughout. Just little flakes of it. Pretty neat, indeed, pretty neat. All right, we're gonna start to get cracking on a couple of the others now. Have a look at this one. It's already got some natural cracks here. This one goes like this, and then this one comes off this way. Probably just gonna take a strike or two to see what's inside. There's another crack, and then there is a shell with some mother of pearl, a little oyster, tiny oyster shell. Let's have a look. Two cracks. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Wow, nice. That is a pretty one. Wow. Those are some nice crystals. Those crystals are bigger than most of them. I think so. I think they are. Nice. Wow. No fossils, so but that's a nice one. So some of these, if they form just right, they form a septarian nodule. I don't believe that this one would be con considered a septarian nodule. Uh, but on a septarian nodule, 
you'll have the crystal throughout and if you slice it um, it and polish it and everything it, it turns out very nicely pretty cool yeah that one it does have some real good crystallization all right time for the last one it also has some cracks in it all right so some little critter laid its little eggs on stalks right there and I think they've already hatched out I hope so because this guy is gonna get cracked open as well it's got a crack going right here and right here a little bit right there not much in terms of fossil showing on the outside a little bit here and here crack keeps going so probably again just take a couple of hits to see what's inside this one let's get cracking whoa just one hit all right so the this one is actually pretty much similar to the ones that we cracked open last time and you can see the difference you know this looks like little tiny sugar crystals and this is actually pointed nice crystals I mean they're not big but compared with this one they're about three to four times as large here is a close-up look at the crystals the larger crystalline structure of the geode that was broken Lost focus for a second there. And here's a look at the smaller crystalline structure. From the geode that had this the sugar like crystalline structure appearance. I'm not sure how they're different in terms of chemical composition. If it's just a different temperature, if it's the same crystal, the one looks more yellow, this one looks more brown. Oh, check this out, guys. Look down there at this one. You know what I think we have in here? I think that may have been a bacolite. The shape of it looks a little bit like a bacolite. Look at that. This could have been a bacolite that started the formation of this concretion. Uh-oh. That wasn't what I was going for. So none of it's showing up anymore. But just the way that shape is, it looks rounded, it looks long. Gives me an idea it could have been a Bakelite uh, fossil creature in there that started the formation of this. Anyway, pretty neat. Nothing extraordinary. Look at this. Has like little crystals dripping off right there. Pretty neat. Neat stuff. I think we're definitely going to keep maybe a couple of parts of this one just because it has really nice, really nice crystallization. Small, again, I, I know this isn't anything impressive compared to, to like a volcanic or the other types of geodes. The agate or the, uh, what's the other? Is it? It's agate, right? Mm -hmm. That the other geodes are or crystal like with amethyst quartz and things like that on the inside all right thanks so much for watching if you like this sort of thing be sure and give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and check us out check us out again next time share us with your friends as well the more people that know about us the more support we can get the more videos we can make y'all take care now bye bye